If the programming of the workpiece is finished, press Execute softly on the vertical bar. The control will take you directly to the machine area screen. Move the tool away from the workpiece to a safe position using jog mode. Remove the billet from the chuck. Make sure ROV and single block on the machine control panel are active. Press auto mode. Press program continue. Press dry run feed rate. The feed rate used in the program is now set to a specific value, which you can find at offset, setting data. The reason therefore is to make the program faster. At dry run, you only want to see if the distances and directions are correct. Adjust the feed rate potentiometer to zero. Close the door. Press back vertical soft key. Press the vertical soft key actual value work. Now press the cycle start button to dry run the program. Every press of the cycle start button will run one block only because single block is active. Single block through the header. When it gets to the tool line, the indexer will rotate. Check if the correct tool is active. When it gets to the spindle line, the spindle will start to rotate. Check the spindle speed. When it gets to the motion line, check the distance to go and ask yourself if that is correct to avoid a collision with the billet or the chuck. Move to the bishop position slowly using the feed rate rotary potentiometer. Set zero at end of block. Check the distance to go. Check the distance to go. It should move a bit in Z plus direction. Check the distance to go. Check the distance to go. It should move to tool change of position. Face turning would have been completed now. Do this sequence for the remaining program and follow the six instructions. First, feed rate rotary potentiometer at zero. Second, press cycle start. Third, check the information on the screen. Fourth, use the feed rate rotary potentiometer slowly. Fifth, double check of the movement in the machine. Sixth, feed rate rotary potentiometer at zero again.